Okay, I wasn't going to make a, a, a rant about this, but I am. And I think that this whole thing between Ozil and Emery is really annoying me. Annoying me to the point that I really had to make this video. Um, so I saw a post that Meza Ozil made um, about um, wearing the Arsenal shirt, the number 10 shirt with the captain's armband. And he put up a quote by Dennis Boat Bearcamp. And don't get me wrong, it is a nice quote. But when you're making a post like that, and when you're not being um, played a lot, you, you, you just kind of like literally kind of think to yourself, like, why would you want to make something of a move like that for when it's going to cause a bit of a, a more div, um, a debate, a division? Why would you want to do that? And I just literally don't like what's going on. Emery, like, don't get me wrong, when I first heard of him coming in, um, you know, I thought, is he going to be able to speak English? Is he going to be able to do things right? Is he going to be able to get us competitive again? I was, uh, I was, um, I was uh, sceptical about how he was going to do things. But you know what? The guys won me over um, and he um, is putting his... Emphasis on uh, emphasis on things, but um, you know we still got a long way to go. Everything is still new to him. We are learning from him. He's learning from us to understand what it is to um, be involved in Arsenal Football Club. So you know, I see two. I see two men here. Like, and I just feel like they do need to kind of literally work together. In the grand scheme of things, in the next few months, right? Yes, we're going to need also. We're going to need him at his best. We're going to need him to, to start producing things. But the problem is he doesn't do it on a consistent level. And that really bothers me. Um, that, you know, all the all the other clubs have got their talents, man. And they can actually do it. With him, it's different. I was happy when he came in. So, so happy. Because this is a guy that's played for one of the biggest clubs in the world. And he's come to Arsenal Football Club. And, you know, we was all going to be um, thinking, yeah, we're going to move in the right way. We're going to move forward. We're going to be having a different way of playing. But as years gone by, it's not been the case. Um, and no one's taken so many days off, more, more so than he has, you know. And when you're a football player, you, you, you have to be committed, you know. Just when you go into your job, you have to be committed, you know, not unless you are absolutely sick. And I'm not saying that, obviously, you know, I'm not saying that in a bad way, but, like, that's the mentality I come in. I come in and I do what I need to do um, because i got to get this money. i got to feed myself. i got to feed. i got to take care of people. i got to, you know, i got to stand on my own two feet, you that's what you do in life, and it's the same thing for football. You gotta, you gotta be all in it, you know. And and I just don't like what's happening. Um, Emery, like I feel like Emery needs to have a sit down and talk to this guy. I feel like he needs to do that because if it if they don't do that, then I just think that one of them, one of them possibly could be could be going. Um, but I'm not so sure if it will be, it will be Emery because, um, I'm not, I don't know if, how long he's contracted for. I heard it's two years. I'm not so sure, but, um, you know, Emery's here to do, um, do a job, but he has limited resources, shall we say, you know, his hands are tied, but, um, and also, I just think that with, with Ozo right now, it's just like, I don't know how he's going to be able to rediscover his form. I've heard of no player that's, that's gone on in the way that he's gone on. And before you, get, uh, before you get at me, I am a fan of Ozo. I do follow him on his social media and I see him doing these things. You know, he's a family man. He loves living in London. I get all that stuff. But for the foreseeable future, I... I just need to think to myself, we need to get to a back, back to winning ways. I hate it not seeing my club 
not winning things. I hate it when uh, I'm being bantered off the park by people that I know. And there are people that, that, that I know that are watching this right now are probably laughing. I hate it. I really, really do hate it. I want to go back to them with a grinning, with, my, with a proper grin on my face. You know, Arsenal comes first. Forget this whole beef between Emery and Ozil and everything. Arsenal comes first. And I'm sick and tired of hearing about what's going on here, right? If any of these players are watching my video right now, my message is to you guys now is that you got to have to work your socks off to get into that top four. You know, you got to be all in it. Otherwise, there's the door. If you're not in it, you know, you can, like I'm tired of I'm tired of seeing what's going on here. You know, the modern day footballers nowadays don't really care about the club anymore. It's just about the job to them. And yes, in 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 instance, it's what it's about for them. But when you're at a club, you got to give everything. Give everything, like, you know, because there's guys out there that would actually kill to actually play for that club. There would, there, There's many people that would actually do it. I would do it. But let's be real here. I'm sick and tired of seeing what's going on. Um, I'd, I just feel like with Ozil, he needs to step up somehow. In, they need to be integrated into the team. But I know that Emery doesn't rate him. But somehow these things, these two need to kind of just like work together and just try to iron this issue out and try and finish this season on a high. That's where I'm standing on it. I don't like what's going on. The bottom line, I don't like that, you know, we're not winning things and we're not even talked about when it comes to transfers, getting the sort of players that we would love to have. You know, yes, it's clear that we do need to... Um, um invest heavily over the next few transfer windows but like my anger is towards the owner because you know Stan Kroenke can't really no he just doesn't care let's be real he just don't care um I don't know what's going on but I do know that something needs to be done over the next few months otherwise you know, otherwise we're going to be bantered off again. And, you know, I don't like the idea of playing Europa League. I, I miss Champions League. I would love it if we could go back to places like the San Siro, the Bernabeu, all those kind of places to, to for us to compete at the highest level. I'm tired of it. I really, really am tired of it. I love Arsenal Football Club. I really do. But... And I've been a fan for 23 years or so now. And I just feel like, you know what? Emery and Ozil need to sort themselves out, honestly. I'm sick to death of seeing all this debate that's going on right now. But they need to sort it. Sort it out, please. Don't do, don't post, uh, don't post a quote and all that stuff. Do it on the pitch. Do it on the training ground. Honestly. You know, you win fans that way. You're not going to win fans like this. I'm sorry. But, you know, they need to sort it out. That's all I got to say on it.